Hey guys, how's it going? It's BJW again. It's good to see you. Uh, I thought I'd come do another vlog today, even though it's been just a little while, because we had uh, a bit of a happening last night. I think you guys might uh, appreciate this. Let the camera kind of focus in here a little bit because it's so bright. Uh, we had, uh, I don't know, eight, 12 inches of snow last night, thereabouts. And uh, here in Colorado, that's not an unusual occurrence. It's just the first time of the year, and so uh, uh, the city is in complete disarray. Uh, but school wasn't canceled. School's never canceled on snow days, and I still have to go to work, so I have to go out and clean off my truck before I go into work, so I thought that'd be kind of a fun time lapse. Oh, and I should have introduced you, so let me sorry. Uh, this is uh, Abraham Lincoln Waffles the Beta Fish. Hey, Abraham Lincoln Waffles the Beta Fish. So uh, I need to get on some clothes, and then we're gonna head outside. <laughs> All that uh, snow removal stuff actually took place like a week and a half ago. Um, but now we have more snow outside, so you can kind of see it outside the window there. I'm headed to Starbucks. I'm gonna grab some coffee, and then I've got a little bit of, uh, maybe it's a story. The reason that I actually did this vlog originally, or uh, this particular episode, was that I wanted to tell a little bit of a story about uh, my little brother and um, his experiences in the Iraq War a couple of years ago now, it's, you know, maybe five, six, uh, seven years ago. Yeah, it's been longer than that, it's almost 10 years ago. Um, and uh, an experience that he had over there and the meaning that it had for me on Veterans Day. So this, uh, I originally had started shooting this on Veterans Day and I wanted to tell this story, but my camera broke and uh, now I got a new camera. So this is a new camera, hi. And uh, so grab some coffee and we'll be right back. To the Coffee for me, non-fat, no water chai with an ad shot, or a dirty chai. You're in the business for my wife. And uh, there we go, Starbucks done. Coffee. <sighs> All right, so uh, Veterans Day. You know, this is not, I'm gonna admit, this is not like a really happy story. So if you're looking for kind of a happy vlog today, sorry about that, this one's a little bit unhappy. Um, there's some sad moments, there's no doubt about it, but I think it's the reason I want to tell the story is I've never really told the story about my brother out really out loud to anybody other than my family. And with a little bit of separation from it, um, you know, it's been 12 years now, I think I went back and figured it out. Um, being a little bit further away from it, it's a little bit of an honor of my brother, I think. So, um, so anyway, my brother did two tours in Iraq. Um, so he was there for eight years, started off as a National Guard, and uh, back in 2003, 12 years ago, uh, almost 13 years ago, uh, he is a member of the 244th Battalion, uh, Engineering Battalion, and uh, was in convoy from uh, Operating Base, Ford Operating Base, FOB Normandy to Pace Setter, and uh, there was a convoy of six cars. He was driving the second one, a uh, truck I should say, uh, M916, which is one of those really big haulers, and in front of him was uh, a Humvee carrying the, uh, the non-commissioned officer, the commander, staff sergeant. And so they're in the convoy. And as was happening at that time, lots of uh, on-the-road attacks going on. And uh, they came up over a rise. And uh, some of the, you know, it's tough to call them enemies. You know, to some degree they were at the time. Uh, so I'm going to use that term even though... Um, you know, I, I do have questions about that sometimes, but so the enemy is that way it was described in the after action report, uh, popped up and, uh, 
shot a couple of shots into the Humvee in front of my brother and actually ended up first shot killed the staff sergeant and wounded some of the people inside the car and as that as the Humvee sort of veered out of the way after being uh, pelted uh, and then this is amazing to me that this actually happened but one of the enemies stood up and fired an RPG at my brother's vehicle and I'm gonna point because I'm in my truck right now uh, but it hit it impacted the vehicle right in the windshield right basically right in front of my right in front of my brother um, luckily <laughs> if you can if you can say that it actually lodged in the window between the window and the frame of the truck and fired some propellant for a little bit until it shook loose and then came into the cab of the vehicle and hit my brother right in the helmet right right there um, and believe it or not it didn't explode um, it redirected it and went through the cab of the the M916 and exploded right above the cab now he's still alive shockingly and um, you know he counts every day he counts his lucky stars he has two wonderful kids just got married again recently um, so I know this maybe that started off like that was gonna be a little bit dark um, but the reality is is that that RPG came through hit him in the helmet and he still has the helmet with a dent from it um, and he still has glass in his face from the windshield that came through and uh, luckily he was fine um, the the six trucks continue to take heavy fire and actually the last truck um, in the convoy as they were racing away um, got another RPG that hit the tailgate and there was a, a young man who was on the back who was firing at the enemy trying to provide cover for the rest of their crew and uh, the RPG impacted the tailgate and um, he did survive he suffered he lost a couple of limbs and um, was badly injured but ended up surviving uh, I think the only person who actually lost their life in that oops, sorry my coffee just spilled um, the only person who lost their life in that convoy was the very first shot to the commanding officer so um, actually today he is now uh, sorry I spilled coffee on my seat uh, it'll be okay though so actually as of today uh, that star sergeant had uh, the base where he trained at in Western Colorado I think was named after him so um, it ended up being a pretty traumatic event for my brother and it continues to be for a long time but uh, as I thought about Veterans Day one of the other odd things is that I am the only male that I know of on both sides of family, my family, including my direct family and my wife's family, who have who has not served in the military. Um, as far back as I could go, hundreds, hundreds of years, I'm the only one who has not that we could figure out anyway. Um, my nephew might be the second one. We'll see what happens to him. He's, he's just 14, I think. So um, anyway. So Veterans Day is a very big deal in my family. It's a very big deal in the community in which I live, and I wanted to say something about this uh, on this vlog, and granted it was a couple of weeks ago, but I didn't want to talk about it, and I did want to say that um, my brother is my hero, um, and it means a lot to me, so thanks. We'll see you guys later. <laughs> on to the next vlog, more Minecraft, less serious. Bye.